yeah, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. We are now going to return to the Game of Thrones theme song, a second lesson on that. So if you haven't learned, if you haven't done the first lesson, I recommend doing that first. That's the opening part of the theme. This is the closing part. Okay, so I'm going to play the whole thing, then break it down for you note by note. And I want you to listen for how, there's two parts to this. We'll call it the A and the B part. And the A part is very similar to what we learned in the first lesson, but it's an octave higher, okay? So it's just higher sounding. And the second part, B part, is kind of a different melody altogether, okay? So listen for that as we do it. Okay, so um, a good scale to do for this would be the E flat major. It starts D low one, low two, three, low four, A low one, low two, three, four. I think in the first video I said A flat major, and I think that's wrong. I think it's E. But they're very similar, the same fingering. So um, it should it should help to do the A flat major as well. All right, so um, so I'm gonna just play the first quarter of the A part um, and then break it down a little bit for you. And with more flow. So it's going to start E low, low 2 and go to A low 2. Okay. And then we're going to go A low 4. So we have A low 4, E low 1, low 2. So far. Then we go back to A low two, and then A low four, E low one, A three. So we have okay. So this is a very key part, um, but if you learn the melody um, lower in the first lesson, I think it'll be picking it up and this higher octave will be easier. Okay, so let's move on and do the second quarter of the A part. a little more flow. Okay, so um, that starts D3, going to A low 1, D3, A low 1, low 2, 3. It does that little phrase three times in a row. And then this quarter ends with D3, A, low one. Okay, so the whole second quarter again. Sorry. All right, 
kind of good. It's like got a little loop built into it, so we don't have to do looping on that. Um, actually, that I take that back. It's always good to loop anything you possibly can. I'm very loopy for looping. All right, let's try the third quarter of the A part. little more flow. Alright, and so that's E low one to A low one. If you're um, new to the low first finger, this would be a good opportunity to practice. I would just stay with this. Um, there's two ways to do it. You could you could have your E low one down and then move it to A low one, or you could plant your first finger, index finger, on both the A and E strings in that position and just hold it down. So we can use these two notes to make a simple exercise. Um, let's do that right now. That alone, you could stay with a long time. You could do it lifting it, lifting the first, or keeping it down. As a fiddler, you want to be able to do things different ways for more flexibility. Um, another way you could practice this, that I, a trick I love, is to just add rhythms. And so on. Another trick I love is to transpose it to a different string. So go A low one to D low one. You're still practicing the same thing. And then you can make up bigger exercises from that. Then add a rhythm. And so on. Okay. So now back to our regularly scheduled programming. So we just did the third quarter. Um, oh no, we didn't finish it. And then we're gonna do a, kind of a, a quarter note triplet, a three, three, low, four, three. I think it's a triplet. Okay, so. And that's the whole third quarter. Fourth quarter, there is not really a fourth quarter because it's just rest. The melody is kind of not in there. Okay, so good. Let's do the entire A part. If anything is uncertain, then just pause and practice right now. But we're gonna just play through it slowly. Let's move on to the B part. I'm going to play the first quarter for you. With a little more flow. A low two for one, two, three, one, two, three, then the same thing with A low one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, next we go D low four quickly to G and then to G three. You could slur that too. So we have one, two, three. One. Okay.
Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Check the tabs below if you're unsure. Tabs in the description field. Um, second quarter of the B part. Let's do that. And with more flow. One, two, three, two, two, three. Okay, so it's G low one to D low one to D low two three. We'll do it again with counting it through it. One two three. One two three. One. Two, three, one, two, three one, one. Okay, let's move on to the third quarter. It's the same as the first. Let's just review it. Okay, now let's do the fourth quarter of the B part. Okay, so fairly simple, just G low one to D low one, and then open D. And then the very ending, which I'm calling the outro, it's just sort of the main uh, cello and violin riff, all right? So I have it tabbed below as well. I'm just gonna play that for you now. Anyway, it'll come as review if you've already done the first lesson. So here it goes. Okay, so that's G3, open, low two, low one, low two. And I think it happens, I may be wrong, I think it ha that happens three times? No, four times. And then we end on a G3. And then give it a nice big, thank you, good night. I call this Boeing throwaway, in case you're new to Fiddlehead. You can also call it the thank you, good night, Boeing. It's fun, feels good, and it brings out your tone. It's a great thing to do all the time to practice your bringing out nice sound when you play. So that's it for the tune. Glad you made it to the end. And uh, thanks to all those who watched the first one, liked it, and requested this video to be made. So I listened and did it. I can't do all the requests because there's too many, but I try to do um, ones that a lot of people ask for. So. Anyway, thanks again. It's been a pleasure teaching you this song and all these songs, and see you next time. Thanks for watching.